Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Wobble here and welcome back to another FTD Facts video where we teach you everything about everything. Now today, first of all, I hope you guys are doing awesome out there in the real world, but I am really excited because, well, we have a special guest that's coming on for this video and this video is, well, as you guys read, it's gonna be about Harley Quinn. But what's great about this video is this is another one of our videos that was requested from you guys and we gotta thank users such as Roman Saeed, Frags PVP Gaming, and of course, Wad Owl Man. You guys wanted this, so we are giving it to you. But for me, guys, I'm much more of a Joker fan, so I had to bring in an expert for this video. And that would be my friend Sasha from the YouTube channel Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. And you know what? Let's bring her on. She's going to talk to you guys a little bit before we get right into the video. Cool? Hey guys, I'm Sasha. I want to thank the guys here at FTD Facts for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here. As Dave mentioned, my channel is Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. And over there, well, what I talk about basically is a lot of fandom stuff. Stuff, basically shipping so if you ever wanted to know more about a relationship between two characters whether they're actually together in the show you're watching or the book you're reading or you just think they should be in your head you can come over there and find out all you need to know so I hope you guys are ready for this because we did some really deep digging on this and what would you say you said it's different from most other facts videos that you've seen before yeah definitely sweet so guys here we go we're doing it on Harley Quinn and oh yeah before we get in this video we always like to ask questions from you guys we want to know who's your favorite female villain or hero and why let us know down there in the comments below but let's get to it cool so Harley is generally known as the Joker's love interest and his sidekick, but there's actually much more to her than that. In fact, if you look at her more modern iterations, you'll find that she's more solo these days and doing things on her own and just being a very independent villain or anti-hero. I feel our romance is dead. But as for Harley, her origin, or at least her creation, she was created for the Batman animated series in the 90s for the episode Joker's Favor. And she was just supposed to be a cameo. She was meant to be a henchman so that she could pop out of a cake in the burglary scene because they thought it would be weird if the Joker did it himself. He ended up doing it anyway, but people still loved Harley Quinn. So let's talk about Harley Quinn's outfit. First of all, she's had tons of them. They all change, but they always seem to complement the Joker's outfit. But as for the original, it got inspiration from Arlene Sorkin, who is a friend of Paul Dini, who is the original creator of Harley Quinn. He saw her in an episode of Days of Our Lives, which was a soap opera, and in that episode she wears kind of a jester outfit, and that's where the inspiration came from. Okay, two drummer boys go into a bar, but I'm And it's also bar. interesting to know that Arlene Sorkin was the first girl to do Harley Quinn's voice. And yes, it was for the animated series. Now, while Harley Quinn's original personality was also modeled off of Arlene Sorkin, most people these days probably know her as being portrayed by Margot Robbie. However, despite what many people think, her portrayal of Harley Quinn in The Suicide Squad is not the first time that Harley Quinn has appeared on screen, just on the big screen. Her first live action appearance was actually on television, on the short-lived TV show Birds of Prey. But people are definitely going to remember the Suicide Squad more, and there's a reason for that. Speaking of Birds of Prey, the first actress to play Harley Quinn in a live action was technically Sherilyn Fenn. She played the role for the unaired pilot for Birds of Prey, which as a show in its entirety only ended up running for one season. During the actual season itself, Harley Quinn was recast and played by Mia Sara. They'll kill him in two seconds. Now, Harley Quinn is so popular that some people, Dave, tend to think that she's overrated and overhyped. Hey, but that's not true at all! It's not, because as I'm about to tell you, her numbers don't lie. I'm talking, of course, about her sales numbers. For those following comics, they will know that once again DC is relaunching its universe, and what this means is that sometimes when the continuity within a comic gets too complex and too large, the series will just relaunch, start everything again from zero. This actually already happened a few years back with the new 52 storyline that started after Flashpoint. But now get ready for DC Rebirth, which is a whole new relaunch, which means a whole new Harley Quinn. And yes, she's going to look a lot like she did in The Suicide Squad. And because of her popularity, she is once again getting her own standalone comic. And the sales for her first issue of Harley Quinn DC Rebirth are already in at over 400,000, which in this day and age is just insane. You always take shots from folks who just don't get the joke. Ah! 
Now here's an interesting fact, guys. When it comes to Harley Quinn, everyone's always like, oh yeah, man, Suicide Squad, it was the first movie to really have Harley Quinn. Well, believe it or not, she was actually going to be featured in a previous film. Now before Batman and Robin was released, that's right guys, I'm talking about the movie with bat nipples, bat ice skates, I don't know, and of course, let's not forget Arnold Schwarzenegger and an overuse of neon and black lights. Oh yeah, and of course, we can't forget the Batman credit card. What the heck were they thinking? Now the producers were happy with the dailies of the film that they commissioned director Joel Schumacher, who was set to direct Batman Unchained. Now this would be his third installment of a Batman series, however eventually he did pull off of the project. Now for this version, it was going to include Scarecrow and Harley Quinn. Now as for Harley Quinn, they were going to go in a different direction, she was going to be a little bit different from what you guys well know her as. The writers wrote her as the daughter of the Joker who decided to go after Batman for revenge. It was written by Mark Podosevich and yes, even had George Clooney, Chris O'Donnell and even Alicia Silverstone returning. But that movie never happened. We had Batman Begins instead. Scarecrow was in that one. Now when people tend to think of Harley Quinn, they also think about the Joker. The two are kind of linked together in people's minds. But despite this, Harley has actually had other romantic interests. Some of the more notable ones have been Deadshot, even Batman himself, and they've shared a few kisses. But the most canonically accurate would be with Poison Ivy, who some of the creators at DC have actually stated that they share a relationship, though it's not monogamous. Now okay, looking into the whole series, I gotta say, this next one just well, it made me die, because apparently there is a Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover. Yeah, didn't believe it myself, but apparently there's six issues that were released between 2015 and 2016, so it's rather new. But what's really weird about it is Harley Quinn gets turned into a mutant hyena, all because of the Shredder. I'm like, dude, this is awesome. And then after she gets knocked out by Batman. For all you gamer fans out there, a lot of people like playing as Harley Quinn. Well, Harley Quinn was originally going to be a DLC character for Mortal Kombat versus the DC Universe. However, unfortunately, this production went bankrupt midway through and it never happened. But fear not gamers, because for those in the know, you know we've gotten our fill of Harley. You were able to play or at least see her in the Batman Arkham series for all three of those games. And now she will be appearing in the highly anticipated Injustice 2. She was really fun to play in Injustice, so I'm really looking forward to playing as her again in the sequel. And lastly guys, if you guys are watching this video in 2017, get ready because the 7th annual Harley Palooza is happening. What the heck okay, is sorry, we do it again now. We've switched uh, still, we? <laughs> sure. we switched, then, I realized. And your your shoulder was like off the screen. We in switched the sides! Of the screen. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so gonna be a blooper. Had it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Snatch it back up a bit. I think both of you back up a bit. Back up? Yeah. <laughs> and lastly guys, to close out, if you guys are watching this in 2017 and San Diego Comic Con has not happened, get ready guys, because it is the 7th annual Harley Palooza. What the heck is the Harley Palooza? Well, it's great. It's a fan event where if you go cosplaying as Harley, which a lot of people do to a Comic Con, she's an extremely popular costume, this is an event where all of you dressed up together as Harley can take pictures together. Oh my gosh. So it's all the Harleys in one place. Oh my gosh. Male Harleys, female Harleys. Male Harleys? Every Harley. Wow. Yes. Dog Harleys? Oh my gosh, that'd be good. Harleys dressed up as Harleys? Like you mean the motorcycle? Yeah. <laughs> it's going too far. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to head on over. We guys are going to leave it down there in the description box below. Head on over to Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. That's her channel. And get yourself educated on... I don't even know what shipping is. Really, I don't. You should. We hang out all the time. Yeah, I know. So anyways... She's not listening to me. Yeah, I know. It goes in one ear and out the other. I'm such a bad friend. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching FTD Facts. This has been our video on Harley Quinn. Guys, be sure to head on over to Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. That is your channel. And you have done a video on... Harley Quinn, haven't you? I did. I did a video on Harley and the Joker's relationship, kind of the history and some of the controversy surrounding it, because it's gotten pretty dark and some, cool. you know, history. Well, we're going to put that down there in the description box below, but thanks for watching, guys. And if you guys have a recommendation for a video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, do the same thing on her channel. Please cool. do. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you guys later. Cool. Yeah. Bye.